Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who's thinking heavily about you right now and why. And this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Earth Sign. Um, let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Who's thinking heavily about Earth Signs right now and why? Hangman at the bottom of the deck. There is someone here, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, this person could be younger, could be younger than you are. If not, they may may have acted immaturely in the past. And you may have released this person or released this connection. And three of pentacles here feels like this person is thinking heavily in regards of um, making amends with you. Because they may have said something really rude to you or that you may have found out that they were insincere. Hmm. And three of wands, the devil, three of pentacles here. Can indicate third party situation may not always mean that. Perhaps this is someone who has put you in a third party situation. That's for some of you. But uh, page is a messenger in reverse. Feels a bit like maybe this person has said something very immature to you in the past. And I think this person is feeling kind of sorry right now because the Ace of Pentacles is right here. Looks like they are thinking heavily in regards of reaching out to you. And the Justice in Reverse indicates maybe this person has treated you unfairly or has said something unfair to you. And we've got the Three of Wands here. So this person is actually longing for you, longing for you to reach out. Or waiting for the right moment to reach out to you. This person could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But strong water, I'm uh, sensing here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a, an Aries, could be a Pisces. Can be any sign. See, judgment here is in reverse. So they may have made the, the wrong judgment call. Said something wrong. Um, and we've got the Seven of Cups here. So this person is wondering how you are right now. Because the Fool here can indicate maybe you have liberated yourself from this person. And they could also be wondering if you are happy or happier being disconnected from this person. Because the full year, sometimes I do, I see the sun here. It reminds me a little bit of the sun. So it's a happy energy, but the full to me is a happy energy anyway. Somebody starting a new journey doesn't really care what, uh, you know, about the risks. Uh, involved in this new journey because he or she is feeling really positive and has a little bit of a uh, I mean there's a little dog here so um, the dog is it's he or she's uh, it's he or hers companion so there's some reassurance right there um, I don't know I just feel like her size, this person with the seven of cups here could be wondering if you're happy or happier without them, also they could be wondering if they should offer you um, a new start, right? Because the, um, the full indicates a new journey, a new start. So they may want a new start with you. And for some of you, this could be a friend. Some of you, this could be somebody you are or were romantically connected with in the past. Okay, let's see more. Sometimes justice in reverse also can indicate a separation or a divorce. Some of you may have been married to this person in the past. You know, always mean that. But, you know, if you're not married to this person, it feels like maybe this person didn't treat you fairly. What they said to you just wasn't fair. 
um, wasn't right. Okay, and three swords here in reverse to me indicates perhaps this is somebody uh, who would like to, who has hurt you in the past, but now would like to heal heal your heart, heal this connection, and also we've got the nine of swords here. This for me indicates that this person is <laughs> this is a thinking heavily card for me. So this person. Um, Thinks a lot about you, especially before they go to bed at night. Hangman here feels like your connection with this person is at a pause right now. There's no movement, there's no forward movement. And if you look at the three of wands here, again, they're just standing, right? This person is longing for you, longing to speak with you, longing for you to speak with them. But could be just waiting for the right moment again to reach out to you with the Ace of Pentacles here. The world here can indicate maybe this person lives far away from you. Both of you could be at could be at a distance from at a distance from each other. Sorry, it's very late at night. <laughs> and I just woke up. Um and the seven of wands about first with the knight of pentacles about first. It feels like hmm, the world can indicate again maybe this person lives far away from you or the world for me indicates a new beginning again you've got two cards that indicates a new beginning because the world indicates an ending of an, a chapter and a new chapter begins so i feel like this person is thinking heavily in regards of whether you have started a new chapter um whether you've already moved on and that you're done with them right and the seven of wands and lovers feels like yeah they could be worrying that you are done with them and that you're no longer fighting for them fighting for this connection um basically they could be worrying again that you may have given up on this connection and the nine of pentacles in my verse this is you so doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific but virgo taurus capricorn one second what is this <laughs> wait <laughs> it's a piece of hair here um <clears throat> i think there was a, a mosquito <laughs> But I think Earth signs, Nine of Pentacles and Mob Verse, I see you not investing, not invested in this connection currently. I see you ignoring them, giving up on this person. But, you know, I think because of the hangman here, because you have stopped contacting this person or replying to their messages, I feel like. Yeah, they could be thinking heavily about you right now because of that. So this is a puzzle energy, right? With the Seven of Cups here. They're puzzled by how easily of you to have moved on or that they could have that perception that you perhaps have moved on already. Let's see more signs. And my nose is a little bit stuffy. So this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The Hermit, Knight of Wands in my first, and again, this is you, King of Pentacles, doesn't matter, again, he or she is not gender specific. Hmm. I think this person is thinking heavily in regards of how attractive you are. Um, I think maybe because of how mature you are with the Hermit here, again, I still feel like this person is younger than you are. You are more mature. Perhaps the last words that you have said to this person um, may have made them think, right? I think the way you said something to this person maybe it sounded really mature, understanding. Even if you were to give this person a piece of your, a piece of your mind, it kind of makes sense to them. So I feel like they could be reflecting over what you have said to this person. So they could have been um, thinking heavily about what you have said to this person on your last conversation. And the not of wants here in love first. I think, again, this is someone younger than you are. Yep. All this person, again, could have acted immaturely. The king of pentacles. Let's just see a little bit more or signs. <clears throat> I still have a sore throat. Uh, two of Pentacles here, the moon. Yeah, they're wondering what you're doing. They're kind of confused right now with the moon. Trying to figure out. Yeah, and right next to a hermit here. 
Mm, and also with the Seven of Cups, these three cards on the same row here indicates that they are puzzled, they are questioning certain things that they may have said or wondering what, how you're doing, what you're doing. And they could be also trying to figure out with the Two of Pentacles here, weighing the pros and cons, whether they should offer you a commitment or bring you something that is of value to you, apologize to you. They also could be wondering if you have someone else because there's a king and a queen here, right? If you met someone else, if this is a romantic partner or if this is a friend, then they could be wondering if you have a new friend. And the sun here in reverse indicates that this person is not happy right now. They are in the dark. They don't know what's going on in your life, really, or signs. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you've blocked them or that you've, you've been ignoring them. Mm -hmm. This person could also be kind of depressed a little bit. That's what I'm getting here. So they could be thinking heavily again in regards to you know, um, compromising with you, making amends here, offering you a new beginning, hope, uh, hoping for both of you to start over. And the hangman here indicates that they're thinking about it, right? Um, they're not actually taking any actions towards um, all of this that they actually want to do. Um, and because another one here is also in my first, they could also be wondering if you're still interested in being their friend or if you're still interested in them romantically. All right, our signs, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new because I post them every single day. So they're still relevant. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, Earth Signs. Bye.